Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello again. So the last few weeks I have been very much focusing on the choice that we have to be who we want to be um, despite what's going on in our world. And as I mentioned last week, um, I am quarantining at the moment in a government hotel due to the fact that I've been to South Africa and just come back to the UK. And it just brings up so many interesting points of view or experiences. Um, so I'm going to share some of them with you. And one of the things I noticed on my way to quarantine, I ended up talking with a number of people who were in the same situation and going into quarantine as well. And I found it really fascinating how people approached quarantine. So um, one of the people basically likened it to an enforced prison stay. <laughs> and um, somebody else also was talking about quarantine and limitations and, you know, how frustrating it was and everything else. And it made me realise that before they've even engaged in the experience, they already have resistance to it. And that resistance will show up in how they experience it. Because if you think that you're going into a prison, then how you react to that, the frustration, the feeling that um, you have no control over anything, all of those things will play a part of how you experience your stay. Um, for me, we've ended up with um, a family crisis, which was why I was in South Africa. Um, and it was quite emotional and taxing and all sorts of things. So I decided that when I came here, that this was going to be a beautiful sort of um, retreat break from life and that I was going to enjoy it as much as I possibly could. And yesterday I was lying on my bed because it's quite a small room, there's not a lot of space here, so there tends to be a lot of lying on my bed. Um, and there was sunshine coming through the window and I noticed that it landed on my foot and warmed my foot. And just for a moment, I just lay there and totally enjoyed the beautiful sunshine warming up my foot. And I think that's really what I want to sort of let talk about today is how in a situation that really doesn't have a lot to merit it, <laughs> we can find joys in almost everything that we experience. So for me at the moment, it's enjoying the sunshine when it comes through the window, enjoying the fact that I don't have to cook or look after anyone or be anywhere or have anything to do particularly, other than obviously creating episodes for you lot. I'm enjoying the bed that I've got. It's beautiful linen and it's nice and snugly and warm. Um, I'm loving the time to read and just completely relax and sleep when I want to sleep and wake when I want to wake. I know that this isn't something that's going to last. I know that it's something that is fleeting and only for a few days really in the grand scheme of things. And instead of fighting it, I want to try and enjoy every moment of it. And whilst you may be listening to this and because I've been presenting the, the good things about it, you might wonder, you know, how is this relevant to something in your life that you're maybe struggling with? And I'd just like to put it to you that you have a choice in any experience to look for the bad in something or look for the good in it. And it's all about focus. We can't change the thoughts in our heads, but we can change the focus of those thoughts. And if you want to focus on, for instance, quarantine being like a prison stay, then you'll find out lots of things to validate that particular focus. But if, like me, you want to focus on it being a beautiful retreat of peace and tranquility, then you can find lots of things to back that up as well. And that goes for any experience in your life. Um, you can choose to focus on the negative or you can choose to focus on the positive. And not just with the current experiences that you might be experiencing, but if you've got bad memories in your life, you can transform those memories by going back and trying to find the beauty in that experience. And I do this with clients, you know, very regularly. And it's incredibly powerful because unless we actually choose to find the good things about something, we won't ever actually truly find them. And I've rewritten a lot of my own past purely by deciding to go back and find the blessings in any situation that I've actually been through. And there are always blessings. There are always something that is good about what you've experienced. Even if it's that you've learned something that changed the direction of your life, or that you learned something that changed a behavior or a choice you'd made, um, because it changes the direction, it changes your future experiences. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this today. As usual, all the notes, the show notes will be down below. 
um, along with my website and my social media should you want to send me a private message. I've got loads of online courses which you can have a look at on my website and I also offer free chemistry calls should someone should you be interested in coaching with me in the future. All you need to do is send me a private message and I would be happy to set something up with you. So much love from me to you. Bye bye.